father of the bride stars Spencer Tracy as Stanley Banks as he deals with the emotional pain of his daughter Kay, played by Elizabeth Taylor, getting married, along with the financial and organization trouble of arranging the wedding. Welcome to a brand new quick review series of the Father of the Bride movies to coincide with the release of the 2022 remake. Adapted from the 1949 novel of the same name, this is directed by Vincente Minnelli, and while younger audiences are probably much more aware of the two Steve Martin films, this actually has plenty of recognition of its own, including making the AFI's 100 Years 100 Laughs list, as well as having been nominated for three Academy Awards, including Best Picture. The film is told through Stanley's point of view, as we open with him in the aftermath of the film's events, breaking the fourth wall and recounting everything leading up to the wedding to the audience. And throughout the movie, we see him attempt to keep his sanity as he's essentially thrust into this life-changing situation. In a humorous sequence early on, Kay announces pretty casually not only did she just meet someone new, but they plan on getting married and soon. And from there, Stanley finds himself pulled in more directions than he can keep track of as he tries to coordinate all this planning while also keeping tensions within this family at a minimum. There's one big recurring joke throughout the movie that Stanley is the one who really can't handle so much at once. And while he does get some chances to express his frustrations, there are several moments where he'd really like to say something, usually as the family's discussing something major amongst themselves, and he can't get a word in edgewise, and because his mouth was shut the entire time, he's viewed by Kay as the most reasonable person in the room. And then he'll just roll with it. So it generally made for some fun interactions. And what I appreciate is how the film plays into Stanley sometimes being a ticking time bomb without it ever coming across as cartoonish. The film generally keeps a really sweet demeanor, with most of its humor being made up of offhand remarks and misunderstandings, such as one really well done scene where Stanley tries lecturing Kay's fiance Buckley, played by Don Taylor, about the meaning of financial responsibility, only to find out at the very end of how successful Buckley already is. And while the film is made up more of amusing bits that come at a frequent enough pace rather than a lot of major laugh out loud moments, and it might not completely appeal to those who aren't big on films from this time period, I'd say the humor still holds up well for the most part. Tracy plays Stanley with a great sense of endearment as a father who only means well and wants nothing but the best for his daughter, even if his efforts can sometimes be a bit misguided. Now, the rest of the cast is also solid, with a nice dynamic among him, both Taylors, and Joan Bennett as Stanley's wife, Ellie. And while there are plenty of extended conversations among them all so that we get a good sense of everyone's personalities, I'd still say that everyone else never gets quite the amount of development Stanley does. Only other thing worth mentioning is that while Tracy's narration is calming and it adds the general laid-back demeanor of the movie, there are times it can feel a tad on the heavy-handed side, especially once we get into the final act. While nothing necessarily wrong was said, there were just a few times where it maybe felt a bit too schmaltzy for my liking, especially as it'll be accompanied by a score that makes it feel cheesier than it is sentimental. But if you're into older films from this time, this might not bother you quite as much. But either way, Father of the Bride will put a smile on your face at the end of the day. It's a sweet little movie about a father's sometimes misguided efforts to do what's right for his family, and it's also pretty consistently funny in the way it expresses him trying to keep it all together. It's got a great lead performance from Spencer Tracy, a generally likable demeanor, and plenty of amusing bits to make for an overall enjoyable time. Father of the Bride gets a 7.5 out of 10. So stay tuned, as up next will be my review of this film sequel, Father's Little Dividend. But in the meantime, let me know, did you see Father of the Bride, or are you planning to see it, and what were your thoughts? Did you find it funny? Do you think it's sweet? Let me know in the comments below so we can discuss. Also, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like, and share it, and for more movie reviews and film discussion, please make sure to hit that subscribe button to stay updated. Thanks for watching everyone and keep having fun with film.